Welcome everybody. Welcome to the current module of SOPO at SOPOTutorial.com. Now uh, I'll be talking about the testing framework. Okay, what is a framework? First of all, framework is something the way you arrange your test cases. Suppose you have got hundred test cases, you want to run them, generate reports and all and all that stuff, right? You need to generate logs if the test cases are running. You don't want that the test case, the, all the test cases should stop in between. The execution should stop in between due to some abrupt error. Right. To do all that stuff, we make a framework. Fine. And we will be learning about the open source version of SOAP UI. That how to develop the framework with open source version. If you look at the website SOAPUITutorial.com, basically I am talking about the last two modules, 19 and 20, that is the data driven framework, uh, free version of SOAP UI. The, with the paid version of SOAP UI, that is the with the pro, this is the framework. I am not discussing this right now. I am discussing this, this one. Okay, now the framework supports both REST as well as SOAP based protocols. Fine, and you can integrate uh, SOAP UI and Eclipse. Okay, now I'm going to make a, I'm going to tell you about a single framework. The objective is to make a single framework which will, which will support both REST as well as SOAP based protocols. Fine, and integration of SOAP UI with Eclipse is important. Because you know what, if you have got this, if you have an open source version of SOAP UI, right, and if you just want to use it and you need to parameterize your test cases, that means you want to generate the reports from the Excel files and all and all that stuff, you know, it is not possible. It is possible, but it will be very lengthy process, right? So what we do is that we use Java in between with the open source version. We use Eclipse, right? The Java code in Eclipse actually reads the data from the Excel files and it passes over the data and it calls, basically it calls the test, respective test cases under the OS version of SOAP UI. In OS, open source version of SOAP UI, we will make multiple test cases. Right? The Eclipse code will read the data for a particular test and it will call these particular test cases. Right? Now, uh, the report generation and all Excel based reports, JUnit based reports, everything will be there. Alright? Uh, I'll tell you practically, if you look at SOAP UI, then I have this, uh, suppose, hold on, let me import it, like, like this is the core REST protocol framework, yeah, this is the one, if you look at this, this has got various test cases, fine, now these test cases are not directly executed from SOAP UI, from Eclipse, uh, we have this core framework, which actually reads the data from a test data.excel file like this. This is the data arranged, dummy data which I have kept. And actually the driver script runs it and executes it. Okay. Right. Now, uh, the reason behind this is because uh, the open source version of SOAP UI isn't having much features. Alright, so that's what I told you in the beginning as well, that the open source version, you have to do a lot of uh, things yourself. And if you look at the reports, uh, sample reports like these are generated, that is under REST result. We have got Excel based reports which are generated on the basis of timestamp. For example, this report over here for various test cases, it is showing pass, fail and all everything, right? and skipped and if you look at right and if you look at this folder over here html report in this we have got these html reports these are the basic uh, junit html report which is generated okay uh, this is the one right and that's how that's how you actually make a project with open source version and automate your web services